Hello and welcome to today's webinar. My name is Qasem al Rafi. I'm the customer support rep as well as the Power BI specialist here for the iTrack 365 team. This week's webinar will be going over the procedures dashboard as our fourth out of the five modules we currently have. We'll talk about a procedure task overview, a competencies that require review, a competency overview, and our employee report card. Now, obviously, this is all built on that Dataverse model that we've been speaking about over the past three videos. So if you haven't watched those, we recommend you do. It'll give you a better insight to how the data model is set up. So without further ado, let's begin. So what we have here is our PBIX file. This is an offline demo. All the data you'll see is fake. However, uh, the reports do work as intended. So before we get into the report view, if we go into the model, we can see here that it's set up a little bit differently than the ones you've probably seen in the previous video. It's more of a square, um, you know, it's more solid model than the circular one we had for the HSC dashboard. However, this is built in a much more complex matter, so it, it's required that it is done this way. Um, not everything will connect to each other. However, the main table would be your procedure, your procedure competency, and your employees. Okay. For more information, we do have a document out, and if you do require that, please email support at itrack365.com. So, all right. So we kind of we have four tabs here: procedure task overview, competency overview, competencies that require review, and employee report card. So pretty simple, right? We have the due date on the top left as a slider, depending on when the procedure task was due. We have completed date as well. We have the employee name. So if you want to search for a specific employee, we'll look at the field operator, for example. And we can look at a specific procedure that's been assigned or um, that the employee specifically has. From there on the left-hand side, we just have a little bit of data. You know, when was it due? When was it completed? What's the status? And what kind of task type was it? On the right-hand side, we have a procedure status distribution, how many were completed and how many were canceled. And then we have, you know, the 15 most assigned tasks per user or per team, if you're looking at it at a whole. From there, we'll look at a specific procedure We'll go down to operating a microwave and we can see the users that have done it. What's the procedure status distribution and kind of overall, how are we doing on this on this specific procedure? And as we go on the line, we can see more information regarding a lot of these procedures. Okay. If I clear it out and we want to look at the 15 most assigned tasks, so right here preparing to trip, we can actually select the bar chart as well. We can see all the employees it has and the procedure status as well. So this will just help you go through a lot of your um, procedures and how the tasks are, are laid out with your with your team. Yeah. There are currently the procedure task is only filtered um, on employee status equals active and if the due date has data. All right. The next one is competency overview. Um, it's pretty similar, except the first one deals with the procedure tasks. This deals with the competency itself. When was it last reviewed? When's the next review? And when's the assessment date? On the top left, just like we had in the other page, we have the assessment date slider, and we have the last review date as well. Very similar to all my other reports. On the top right, we have employee name. We can search for employee as well, just like we did in the other slide. And we have procedure, we can sort by procedure. Then we have our competency status distribution. If you want to see all the outstanding ones, we can just select the pie chart and it will show us it. We can look at all the superseded and so on. We also have the ability to go per um, competency and see how what the status of it is looking per user and per assessment date. So as you can kind of tell with the procedure task overview and the competency overview, it's a very similar model and a similar you know reporting style. This is just meant for you to go employee by employee. How are they doing? And you know, are there any 
um, any outstanding competencies that really must be completed uh, urgently. From there, if we look at competencies that require review, this is kind of the same exact same dashboard as a competency overview, but the only difference is we're looking at outstanding, superseded, you know, expired or reviewed competencies. So everything will work the exact same as the competency overview, um, but this will be for only those open status competencies. And finally, we have the employee report card. So this is something that's pretty cool, and we kind of see this being used specifically at you know safety meetings or even employee review meetings. So what we can do is we can filter by the employee name. Here we have demo user one, and we can see which competencies they've completed. How are their completed procedure tasks looking? And we can add more data here if need be. Are there any open and overdue procedure tasks that they must complete? And are there any open and overdue competencies that they must complete as well? So we can screenshot this, you can export this to Excel, you can do whatever you need to do. And then as you review with that user or that employee or that operator, you can let them know how they do it. Right? We talk about what their employment type is, what's their division, what's their business unit, right? how long have they been with the company for. So this could be a yearly review, this could be a quarterly review. And as you go through a lot of your operator stats, you can see how everyone is doing over the course of time. So it's a pretty simple, um, you know, procedure overall, or sorry, simple dashboard overall. This is one of our newer dashboards, so we are still fleshing it out and we are still adding, uh, you know, new reports and whatever. We also have data integrity as well on, on the works. So if this is something that you are interested, please reach out to support at itrack365.com and we will make sure that we set it up with you. Um, and if you you know have any reports that you want to see, or have any reports that you want to you know see in your own individual suite, let us know. As you know, probably a majority of our clients have the same reports that they will want to see. And the more you let us know, the more feedback we get, the better reporting modules we can provide. This video will be posted on YouTube, so please check it out there. As well, follow us on LinkedIn. And for any further questions please message support at itrack365. As always, thank you for your time and have a great day.